we should you, you want to get into the character as you, we talk about fantasy with the hobbits and and orcs and stuff for you in your mind to take an orc which is a you know it maybe has dark skin or whatever and equate that with a black person yeah, that's the thing yeah. you are so close to being racist right that connection is so close or to take the color black for instance and automatically assume it's evil and apply that to a person in your mind those things are so intimately closely connected you are reflecting your own personal bias Projection. the person might just look at it and be like it's a color <laughs> it's so far removed from a person all i'm seeing well, is a color black we identify with evil because it identify not because of skin color but because of the night and no the night black is a color right I'm, I'm wearing black i i, I don't have any qualms about it being evil no no but i mean but the this as a species, we identified black as evil because black was night, and night no, 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 predators no, no, no. came out. That that that's a talking point. That that's absolute nonsense because we've conquered the night. Nobody's afraid of the dark anymore. And when they're afraid of the dark, they don't associate that with black people, right? That's a that's a leftist no, talking. I'm not, point. I'm not saying with black people. I'm saying no. I, I, I know, but, but yeah. even to associate the, the dark, right? We could be scared of the dark, right? Because you don't know what's out there. But it's not the dark that is the issue. It's the potential predators or attackers that are coming out. Right, right, but I mean, it's, it's yeah, that but that's that's not the connection with trying to take it and say everything that's dark, like an orc in Dungeons and Dragons or whatever, and they're trying to say, oh, that's associated with black people being evil. No, no, that's I'm separating the two. Is it, yeah. they're making about black people? I'm saying is Correct. black has in general been that because it's the dark, it's the unknown. It's that. It has nothing to do with race. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I would say it's the unknown. I don't think it's necessarily the dark, but it's same point. Yeah. And that, that is... So the people who are shouting this, you know, you're racist because the person is black, they're actually exposing their own racism yeah. and their soft bigotry of low expectations. Yeah. Right, exactly. Like, that, that word black almost means more the race now. Than the color itself. Than the like, color. Like uh, one, one yeah. thing. Uh, go ahead, Am Amos. Oh, no, I just uh, Brooke made a good point on representation because, like, I will say, like, you know, if there is a movie that is genuinely about you know Asians or something that is actually done well, I can appreciate that. But That's I'm not. Right. But I'm not sitting there like demanding, like, you know what? Representation. We need yeah, right. Like, <laughs> like people got mad. Um, Iron Fist when that came out, they were like, "Well, Iron Fist, well, why is it being guy. played by a white man?" And I'm like, "Well, let me look this up. In the comic books, it's a white guy. So why is it? Well, we need to be more evolved and ha make it an Asian guy. I'm like, so we're gonna play into the stereotype that the martial artist has to be an Asian. Yeah. So you're saying that, but like, we're, but then we're actually honoring the comics." But then when they don't utter like comics or source material to change it, oh, that's better because we're evolved. Like it's, you know, we're evolved if we do it. We're not we're we're not evolved if we don't do it. But then it's racism and stereotype typical to do it or not do. Like they flip flop it where it's convenient. Right. But then I watched like Shang Chi, right? Legend of the Ten Rings. It wasn't the best Marvel movie ever. It was a decent one. It's good, yeah. But it was, and it's definitely like. <clears throat> It's honoring the vision of the comics, the source material, which was definitely drawing on like a limited understanding of Chinese culture and folklore. But they they actually took that and in, in its to its benefit, made it almost more authentic. Like, yeah, it's a comic. <clears throat> yes, it's not using real Chinese stories, which are awesome themselves. But it made you it convinced you it was because they were like well, they had, eight, they had Chinese people doing it, who actually spoke good Chinese, who and they did good action sequences, and they told a cool story. It wasn't pandering, and it wasn't trying too hard. It was like, we're doing it. You'd think it was a Chinese story if you didn't know any better, which is how good it was. Like, if it was an actual Chinese story and not a Chinese story, they'd be equally as good, I think, because of it wasn't about... It wasn't about any of that. It wasn't trying to pander. It wasn't trying to... It was like, we're telling a story, and it's good. Correct. We're not going to sit here and my Chinese culture, and as a Chinese person, I'm feeling this and this and this. Like, there was none of that in the movie. I didn't feel it was shoving anything. It was just, we went through it. We did it. It was good. And I'm like, yeah, it's actually pretty good. It's like, you know, uh, to comment on this, it's just, it's like, you know, in this, this woke era, it's kind of become more... 
you know, vague as to what is the right time to insert X race into something without it actually being a statement, right? Like, like when should I include a black guy, an Asian guy, even a white guy or a man, woman, whatever. Uh, but, you know, you know we're, it's like we uh, who are more sensitive to the woke things now, you know, uh, we don't know when it's a political agenda or if they're just being honest. We don't know the criteria for that. And uh, it's like, you know, I, if I have an idea for a black character for some comic or something like that, you know, uh, is there any reason for me to make this guy a black character, or do I have every reason to? Or you know, it's it's like it's it's un, it's an uncertain time, yeah. you know. It, it it what what ends up happening with it is tokenization. So what ends up happening, and and this is what's very insulting, right? There are just as there are Chinese stories, there are legitimate African stories. Right? There are Caribbean folklore stories. There's actual stories from like a black culture. But again, exposing the racism of the left and stuff like that, they only see validation in white characters. So the big win for them is to replace an existing white character with a person of color. Yeah. Right? But that's tokenization. Right? That, that's not actually respecting anybody. That's actually insulting to like a, a person who's actually into like African culture and stuff like that. And they see they race swap. I don't. I don't know. They always race swap the redheads in the comics and stuff like that. So, right, like ginger side is a real thing, right? Why? Why not just tell an African story? Like, why not just come out with an actual original character that's black and tell that story? Black Panther and, yeah. was good. Yeah, a perfect example, and I think it it did tremendously well. Uh, Luke Cage was, was great. Story. Oh yeah, I've, yeah, I've never I, yeah, I, I didn't mind Luke Cage because I, I think um, there was a Jamaican. No, no, what was the one with the Jamaican guy? Was that? Yeah, it was Luke Cage, and of course, coming from the Caribbean, I like the whole you know Jamaican kind of guy. He's drinking the nightshade and he's strong and whatever. So I got into the music and stuff like that. But I'm not black. I'm like you know I'm white from the Caribbean, but I love that culture that he had the Jamaican culture and I kind of connected with that. That's authentic. That's an authentic African or Afro-Caribbean culture that's being expressed. Which is why they make great characters. What if we're doing like, something yeah. more futurist, though, in which we can imagine them more mixed? You know, so this is where we kind of get get a bit more melting potish. <laughs> that was the South Park episode where they yeah, the, the no, tell us from the future and they yeah, all look yeah, the same. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, then, and then they call them, you know what they call them, right? Because, like, the when they were... Kubats or something? They would time travel, and there would be some like gelatinous ooze that would get on their bodies <laughs> in the portal, and so they called them goobacks, which is obviously commenting in another phrase. Uh, <laughs> and of course, they would work at McDonald's and not speak English because they spoke some sort of uh, mixed Foreign, language. Yeah. Some all basically they came up with some like oh, all the languages just became one in the future, and they speak that. Mm -hmm. You know, they, yeah. they, they look yeah. like every race in the world because they're so, like, mixed. <laughs> um, yeah. Or even I was a, the first Blade Runner, I think, insinu like hinted at, like, languages would start merging, like English and Japanese would merge somehow. Well, you know, uh, if I would go on a tangent on that, on that kind of thing, I, I'm thinking of, about the uh, how programming languages are supposed to kind of hypothetically kind of merge into something that everybody's just going to end up using because you know, there's all different kinds of programming languages but the way that that's ha handled is that you know the but the best most efficient ones will start to kind of like inspire each other and it's not so much of a mishmash of everything but rather the best of you know uh yeah. of, of what they have in common and they might it might be just one better than the other kind of way of programming that'll just stand out so uh, i've heard you know something like closure being like the the big programming language possibly of the future and that's more based on lisp or something as opposed mm -hmm. to something like a java or c sharp or something so i wonder if races and languages might be a little bit you know it was, it was a funny idea the whole goobacks thing you know it's, it's yeah. like, it was making a funny point but you know uh if those kind of merges happen i think they'll take uh a different kind of manifestation even branch off into its own interesting areas <laughs> right i mean uh are we going down the eugenics conversation jesus christ yep. man uh -huh. <laughs> like, uh, yeah when, when yeah. and myself were in um <laughs> when we were in singapore i remember we learned about singlish right yeah yeah singaporean english and spanglish Sing they have spanglish in texas spanglish well, in english. english is english and um 
was it? I guess English, some kind of Cantonese. English, Chinese, and Tamil. All right. Because they have like an Indian population and a Chinese population, and of course the English speaking population, it all mixes. Like I can go to Singapore and speak Mandarin and people will understand me, but then there's also like the Tamil population and of course English. So there's like a mix in there. It's a cycle. Yeah, and but those are like, you know, hyper concentrated like cities that we have. Like we are still pretty far away from having that really. Like we don't have big enough cities. Like even if you go to New York, people are still speaking English or Spanish or like there's there's separate languages. You're not having like you don't have New York ease or something. Like. <laughs> and you know, mentioned eugenics thing. Well, it's only as eugenic a as uh, men and women preferring different women, men and women. Eugenic. Which is, you know, kind of ties back to the Roe v. Wade thing. Like, you know, how, how like, when you look at like things, you know, rights or cultural things that we care about in cut, like, for example, like people like to talk about American gun culture and they don't yeah. understand how like gun rights and gun culture in the U.S. is very distinct from other countries. Like, oh, well, they don't have shootings in this place and this place and this place that have guns. And I go, well, yeah, because their gun culture is very different and it's led to different outcomes. Like, you know, Switzerland has, has armed half their population in preparation for an invasion. Like, that's just kind of a culture of that. Uh, Australia arms their popula well, allows their population to be armed to combat, um, you know, farm animals. Or, like, you know, if in a farming sense, not in a self-defense yeah. sense. Here in the U.S., it's very unique where we turned it into an, an uh, defense of property rights yeah. and self-defense. Yeah. Um, and, of, and, of course, rising against a tyrannical government. Like, <laughs> I don't think any other country established their gun rights with the intention of revolting against the government. Correct. And, and to be fair, the United States does not have the most gun crime, right? Colombia, yeah. Mexico <laughs> City, right? Russia. Yeah, I see. And, and if you want to talk about stabbings, a, London. <laughs> same thing, like, it sounds weird, but there is actually abortion culture. Yeah. Um, you look at how abortions are perceived and, cult and how it relates to the culture in Europe or some of these other countries where they'll they'll proudly say yeah we totally allow abortions but there's a whole different like uh perception of how it's done whereas here like brooke was saying it's seen as contraception i'm looking at it like it's almost you know it's like going to mcdonald's that's you how it's seen in the, in the West. like like everyone got, everyone's doing it it's cheap it's easy you do it um maybe it's not as accessible you know there's some obviously places in the country that don't have mcdonald's but it's like you you wherever it is it's just known and it's done and it's just so common um and really it's that relates to that and and of course no one knows about the history of it either you got to look at the history of abortion in the u.s you look at planned parenthood you look the at founder. Martin sanger you look yeah, at oh my God. like Roe versus Wade Wade conversation <laughs> yeah roe versus wade itself being based off of uh, a false uh, uh like claim about being gang raped by a bunch of black people no, and even the proponent that was was the was the um she was part of the case either the road or the way we one of the two was the road, she, yeah she 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 came out against it like she changed her mind and started to campaign against the, the bill itself yeah. wow okay and it's yeah. like yeah we could we could totally legislate you know allowing abortion nationwide and, and i'd be fine with that but it's just how it came to be is a real problem. Like, I'm not looking at strictly, you know, ends justify the means, per se. It's like, you got to really understand, like, the reason we've sort of elevated abortion to such an important topic is, yes, it's important, yes, it's necessary, and I think just in the world, you know, in the world we're in today, it's, yeah, it's a part of our life. You can, you should have access to it. Well, but it's but... so commercialized and, and pushed and just commonplace that yeah, the culture is off the culture yeah is and and, and really um a lot of like leftists i've seen post this one there's this like i forgot her name this old white lady that talks about racism and how it's like a mental illness and all this stuff and they go yeah she really knows about she talked about abortion and population control and eugenics mm -hmm. and how that's the bigger racist problem than anything else how 
Um, <clears throat> where, like, yeah, a lot of white people get abortions and such, but a whole lot more percentage-wise of the other races get, get abortions That's right. as well. And they thought it, she basically said it's, it seems like it's part of a larger plan. Um, you know, people want to talk about, like, replacement and, you know, white genocide, all these things. No one wants, but then the left will, to, will, and will make fun of the right. Like, well, that's a conspiracy theory. That's a white supremacist idea. But then they're totally on board with abortions. And then when they really get down to it, they'll fully admit, yeah. Abortions happen more commonly among minority communities than any other community. It's true. Yeah. Like, and not that they shouldn't or whatever, like people make their own decisions, but it's part of a larger like thought process. Like a bigger conversation. Yeah, like <laughs> Yeah, and no one should be denied it, but understand that it's obviously targeting people whether in, you know, directly or indirectly. Well, should you? Is that really the question, though? Whether somebody should be denied it, since the controversy still exists as, as to whether that this is a uh, an actual individual that's being terminated or not. See, it's, like I, I know we keep coming I mean, back to this. Yeah, right? we I mean, we can't answer that question. Nobody has a right. Yeah, there's. I mean, everybody's going to be at a different place on that question. Exactly. Think. It's mm -hmm. it's that. There's no like, answer. As an you know person who believes in the individual, they should be making that decision for themselves with their professional medical person. Right, right. Yeah. But, I, but the larger thing is, I think, is be informed. Understand what you're doing. If, you know, I'd rather someone make the better decision of doing the best they can to raise a child right. Or to give the child for adoption. Or, or... give them for adoption. I mean, yeah. granted, then it gets into, you know, adoption. Yeah. Adoption uh, shit and all that. But, <laughs> like, really... Like make it work if you can. Like, but 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 before all of that, make good decisions. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, because uh, as we said, you know, it's uh, the McDonald's thing comes uh, like you just mentioned. You know, it's like like I could just do it whenever I want for whenever whatever reason. Kind of a thing is like the prevailing yeah. reason that this is even done here in, in this culture. So, uh, yeah, I mean. There's not really any appreciation and respect for the fact that an individual is on the natural trajectory of becoming. Basically. Becoming a person. Right, yeah. Yeah, I mean... It's like a, like it's, it's like a political statement to actually get an, an abortion. It's like they freely admit... It's become that. They freely well, admit that... Uh, go, go ahead, go ahead. I just... I was thinking about this, like, and this is, makes more sense than it, sh than it really should, but okay. it does... Uh, how many pro-life people get abortions? Sure. Uh, which is really, like, um, people posting about working in abortion clinics and how many Christian women who are, like, mm -hmm. cursing them, yelling at them, absolutely refusing to follow through with, like, having their name on record of getting an abortion, going against everything they claim they believe to do it because they, for some reason, feel, well, my decision is obviously more justified than... The people I supposedly you know hate, or they're my opponents in this issue, which really shows the larger thing of you can't like you said, like Brooke and I said we can't make that decision for someone. Like yeah, it's important, it's it's important to understand that like you just don't know what someone is going through, what's going through their mind to make the decision. You hope that they're making an informed decision and going from there, but even then, it's like. We don't know. There's no, there's if, no answer. If this. someone is so careless to feel that they could just get one, it's probably for the best. There's, we can't justify that either. There's no, no, no there's no, 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 no to, You know what I'm getting at? Like if they're, yeah, they're, feeling, they're, we we still don't know. We, that that's kind of implying that it, they'll be a bad person to raise the kid. We don't know. We 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 do we can't get well, into yeah, the and, nuance and again, of that. Yeah, people people even yeah. having kids changes them too. Yeah, yeah, we, we, we can't answer those questions. There's no way to make right. those assumptions.